Hi guys, uh, welcome to part two of the video. Um, sorry about the delay, I had to wait for these three things to arrive before we could continue. Um, so starting on the left here, we've got the Gyroview V-mount plate, which is going to sit at the base of the grip ring. We've got the focus thumb wheel, which will allow you to focus with your thumb, as the name suggests, uh, while still holding onto the grip, so that you don't have to risk moving the rig too much. And then thirdly, we've got the actual motor, which is what the thumb wheel connects to, uh, which will allow you to focus. Um, this focus motor will also work in conjunction with the DJI uh, remote focus system, which will allow you to focus remotely. So if you had another operator on set and you didn't want to have to worry about operating the Ronin and focusing at the same time, you'd be able to use it for that as well. Um, so the next thing you'll see, as before, is these items out of their respective packagings and we'll go into a bit, to a bit more detail about how to get these set up and placed onto the rest of the rig itself. Alright, so here are the three items out of their respective packagings. The first one's pretty self-explanatory. Um, female plate using these, uh, which are unfortunately for the 30mm diameter ring, which I now have the shim for. This will allow me to power everything using a single V-mount battery. The idea is this is going to sit like so on the base. The battery will then slide into it and then everything else will connect to that one battery. The second item here, I've already put together the cabling that comes with this. Uh, so the idea is this is going to sit on the side of the grip uh, with access for your finger or your thumb to be able to pull the focus from there. And all I've done so far is I've connected the CAN bus cable to the rear of the unit. All I had to do was use the Allen key provided to remove the two screws, remove the top plate and slide the CAN bus cable down in to the rest of the system. Uh, there's a few different configurations for it. Uh, one is designed for the Ronin, one is for the Ronin MX, um, and I think the third was for the Ronin M. Um, but this is the configuration I need for the original Ronin, so that is what I've done. And the idea is the other end of the connector will go onto the CAN bus connection on the Ronin itself, which I'll show you once it's set up. The third thing you'll see attached is the motor itself, which will be attached to a 15 millimeter rod that will be sitting underneath the camera. And one thing I forgot to mention, you also need a power cable for this. So one end is a DTAP connector, which will connect to the DTAP output on the Ronin carriage. And the other end is a Limo style connector, which will connect to the base of the focus motor. All right, so as you can see, as promised, I have attached the V-mount plate to the base of the grip. The DTAP connector is running up through the unit into the auxiliary power connector, which in turn will power everything. Uh, on the front here of the carousel, I have attached the motor using the power cable to the DTAP connector on the Ronin itself. And over this side, we have the thumb wheel. Let's move this out of the way. We have the thumb wheel over here, uh, which can be focused using your finger or your thumb. And the CAN bus cable running along the unit into the CAN connector on the Ronin itself. Uh, so in the next clip, which will be the final clip, you will see the setup with my camera attached and I will show you that everything is operating correctly and using the single battery on the base. So as you can see we have everything together now. We have the V-mount battery, the cable running up to the auxiliary power input on the Ronin. The two DTAP outputs are connected 
one to the AC input on the camera and the other is running up to the monitor and finally the motor is powered from the DTAP output on the Ronin itself and the only thing that's not being powered is this thumb wheel which is actually battery operated you just got to make sure you've charged this up using a micro USB cable. Um, some of you might have noticed that the lens gear is not actually coming into contact with the lens. That is because of the shoulder base plate I have on my camera is actually spacing the lens too far from the motor. Uh, but DJI sell a universal slide, I think they call it. I'll link it in the description, uh, which will allow you to add extra length and get the motor closer to where it needs to be on the lens. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been informative for some of you. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment them below. And have a great day.